welcome to Viewpoints, Dominion DMS's video podcast series where we highlight our vendor partners. I'm Sharon Kitzman, president of Dominion DMS, and with us today we have Matt Raymond. He's the chief operating officer at Bowtie Solutions. Matt, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me on today. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Excellent. So now that we both know that we're both excellent, um, <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself and Bowtie Solutions. Absolutely. So I've been in automotive for almost, thir well, yeah, 13 years now and started out in sales and BDC world and really kind of hung out in the sales, uh, I'm sorry, sales and service BDC world for okay. the 13 years, um, seeing, doing some marketing and stuff like that also. Uh, but in the last year, um, Kristen Dillard, our dealer principal at Team Automotive Group, and I were talking and we decided to build Bowtie Solutions to help out the entire auto industry on the service side of things. Nice, nice. Um, and so it, it was organically kind of built out of the need of a dealer and your background. Correct. So when we purchased one of our stores, we wanted to um, drive home a good customer experience. People didn't want to talk to a centralized call center. Uh -huh. We weren't going to get rid of our centralized call center. Um, so we worked with a technology partner and we were able to answer the phones as though we're sitting at every dealership um, from local numbers to uh, scripts to even be alerted from what store they're calling for. Wow. I noticed on your website that, you know, kind of one of the taglines is that you're an extension of the dealership's team, right? That's it. Does, doesn't feel like you're going off into some call center somewhere that um, it's it's a live body. That's exactly it. So when somebody calls into us, um, we schedule their service appointments for them. If any reason it needs to be TO'd, it's no different than in a, a store if somebody needed to have something TO'd to the parts department or however it is. Our knowledge base is set up. So when we TO it, we can email or text the store. Um, and they'll get the alerts and they can follow up with the customer right then and there. Yeah, I would think a lot of dealers out there would really value the idea that someone else that has so much automotive background um, and was kind of birthed out of the need by another dealer, they would they would find that really compelling. How how are things going for you? How's your year to date results? It's going good. Um, you know, it's been an exciting um, pro uh, call it a project, exciting project for me, but. You know, as we've been building it, one of the biggest things is, is that, you know, I think somebody was saying the other day, there's 37 outsourced BDCs out there. That's sales and service. Um, we're strictly service focused, but we're, we're very customizable. So we go and meet with the dealer um, either on Zoom or in person, and we'll set up a knowledge base. We'll set up, um, you know, scripts. Everything's customizable. Again, going back to the, we're an extension of your team. We're just not right in that location. Right. So my next question was going to be, you know, what's unique about your solution? Maybe you just answered that, but um, <laughs> uh, th there are a lot of um, outsourced call centers that dealers could choose from. Again, I think going back to somebody um, that knows the auto industry as deeply and richly as you do, that would be a benefit. But what you just said was also interesting. So you'll customize the scripts. I'm assuming that's down to maybe the, the make that the dealership is representing or any kind of recalls that might be going on? That's exactly it. So we'll customize it based upon like if it's ABC Chevrolet, we can answer ABC Chevrolet. Um, and then we, we put together a nightly recap report that automatically gets emailed out to the dealer every night. And then from there, we can even customize that. Uh, so one of the things that people like to see is the all the appointments scheduled and the TOs. So in there will be the name, the phone number, and what was scheduled for service. We can also add an additional box in there that comes over every night where they can click on a link and they can go through and look at every phone call, every text message that we sent to and from that customer. Okay. So, so it's, they, they can kind of audit it. As they well can as audit it. Attention. Yep. They can pay as much attention to it or as little attention to it as they want. Um, and, and we measure our agents every day, you know, with the call volume and stuff like that. And we're always listening to the recorded calls. And one of the cool things about our technology is if we take that call and we transfer it, let's say to the parts department where they go, 
I need to make sure that parts and they told me to call. If we transfer that over to the parts department, um, we're able to still pick up that call recording for them too. Okay, great. I know, you know, in today's environment, people are trying to do as much online as possible, whether it's the car buying process or maybe more relevant to your business, um, scheduling a service appointment or inquiring about a special part that they might want. Um, is that need for doing things online and maybe getting to a point where they can't do everything online, is that increasing the needs for dealers to um, outsource a, a BDR solution like yourselves and, and be able to respond to consumers immediately? I believe it is. Um, you know, with when we built this um, with team in the seven stores and meeting with our service scheduling reps, they're always like, you need to push for more appointments coming through the web, push for more appointments coming through the web. And those service scheduling tools are good, but they're still hangups. And from a customer that may not access them all the time, they get frustrated. So they just pick up the phone and call. Um, and so that's why we're there for them. We're, we're right there with them um, to be able to schedule that appointment for them. Yeah, that's great. And, you know, a, a live voice um, these days is is unique in some in some places, but at the same time, artificial intelligence is kind of a, a hot button for dealers right now. Um, any plans to either um, add AI, maybe in a chatbot function or or other ways um, to augment the services that you already um, supply to the dealers? Absolutely. So we, we have that coming out end of third quarter. I think it's going to be fully rolled out. Um, we're kind of going at why we got on the calls with uh, Dominion and DMS side of things was because we what we'll do is work with the dealer and their DMS provider. So we can reach out to customers that you haven't seen in your service drive for six, 12, 24 months. And right now we're working on taking that AI and putting it in there. So You'll receive a message like, hey, you know, we haven't seen you in two years. We'd like to set you up for, you know, whatever the dealer, want, dealer wants to do. And if the person texts back, yes, I'm interested, our AI is going to say, great, what day works, what time frame works, go that way. However, the difference with us versus some of these other AIs is we're going to have a live human sitting there and being able to see and monitor these conversations and then jump into the service schedule and schedule the appointment. So it does a little bit of the intro and heavy lifting, but at the end of the day, um, we're not going to completely let AI take over everything. Um, we've got real life people standing by watching what's going on. I used some AI chat um, earlier today and a totally unrelated and, and it got off the right, it, you know, it kept trying to bring me back to the answer it wanted to give me. And I, it, it wasn't quite right for, for the question that I was answer or asking. So I think that oversight by a live body that can see a consumer kind of going sideways um, is, is a good, a good add to the process. You know, since you've, uh, worked in the dealership since you're connected to so many dealerships today. Um, if you think about all the different systems that an individual user in a role in the dealership has to use on a daily basis, whether it's in service or sales or where have you, as a DMS provider, you know, one of my goals is to make the integration and the amount of data that's being passed back and forth um, via that integration, not only as safe and secure as possible, but as robust as possible so that um, we're eliminating any kind of duplicate entry on behalf of a team member in the dealership and hopefully streamlining the process and making it more efficient. As you think about integration with Dominion DMS, is, is there anything that, that you wish we could do differently on, on behalf of you and your clients so that we could continue to build efficiencies into the process? Not yet, but like everything in automotive, we'll constantly evolve and find stuff. But you guys have been great to work with, with the integration and working with our tech team. Um, we want to take uh, information from the dealer that we can reach out to the customers, but we don't need a ton of information. Typically, it's name, uh, phone number, year, make, and model of the vehicle, uh, last RO date. We keep it very simple on our end because our goal is to just drive um, their customers back into their service drives or answer their phones and schedule their service appointments. And the reason why we want to just keep it simple is because 
dealerships do what they do well, and that's sell and service automobiles. And they do a great job of upsell and service in the lane and stuff like that. And it's so much better of a customer experience if the advisor gets to focus on the one they're with and we get to do the heavy lifting in the background. But like Dominion, and you guys have been great. Um, last week, we had a really great call with the tech team and talking about some different things. And, um, you know, you guys also do a lot for the dealers with no, you know, additional fees and stuff like that, you know, with the DMS. And I, I was telling um, your team that one of the things we're going to bring to it is the integration fees that we typically have to pass along to a dealer. We're just going to absorb those for anybody that does sign up that is a DMS, a Dominion DMS customer, um, just because of how you guys operate too. That's, that's great to hear. Thanks for doing that. And I'm, I, th I think of us as partners and, and uh, because of that, you know, however we can help each other um, is the way that we should go forward. You know, I was talking to another partner um, earlier today, actually, and uh, they were talking about how shop loading um, for a lot of dealers is based on, you know, labor capacity in the form of technicians and how many technicians they have available. And there's been a labor shortage. Um, there's been a lot of shortages, but um, one that I imagine dealers are thinking about right now as it relates to a solution like Bowtie is, you know, how many how many technicians they really have to do the work and and loading that shop for optimal capacity. As as you and and your team think about maybe how to help dealers through a labor shortage or how to optimize that capacity in their shop through your solution, what types of tricks do you have up your sleeve that you could share with dealers? The, the biggest thing is reaching out to the customers that you haven't seen come back. And, and that's one of the things that we do, we implemented. I can share this with you. We did it for uh, the team organization, seven stores. We got creative two months ago. We decided to run a two-year campaign where we hadn't seen customers in two years. And we ended up scheduling 52 appointments with customers that we hadn't seen in over two years. Um, and, and so just thinking outside the box. And like I said, we are an extension of the dealer. So if the dealer can think it, we're going to do everything that we can in our power to execute it um, because we want to come together and work, you know, as a, as a one unit and really drive mm -hmm. home that retention. That's the biggest thing on my wow. side of it that I see dealers could benefit from. That's awesome. So I introduced you um, as being from Bowtie Solutions, but if dealers wanted to learn more about um, you and your business and your products, they would actually go to a website that's bowtieautosolutions.com, correct? That's correct. Or they can find me on LinkedIn too, um, and also our page on LinkedIn. Excellent. You can also head to the dominiondms.com um, website and go to the partners page. We list all of our uh, vendor partners there alphabetically so, and, then, and then link back to their website. So either of those options uh, work for us. Um, it's been great talking to you today, Matt. Um, I, I think everybody that I speak to in this industry, you know, just lives and breathes it and, and loves the product um, that this industry represents, which of course is the car. Um, do you have a favorite car or maybe a car story that you'd like to share? Um, I think there's so many different stories, um, but you know, one of the big things for me is when I got into the cell automobile industry, um, coming out of you know previous backgrounds, and at one point I'd been a 911 dispatcher when I was in high school, and and so the phone wasn't a scary thing to me. And I had started in sales and everybody was out front, you know, hanging around the podium. And I went and I said to the BDC manager, I said, is there anything I can do? Cause I just can't sit around. And he handed me this big five inch binder. And he said, call everybody in there. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And I flipped <laughs> it open and I'm like, what do I say? And he's like, call him and say, if I can put you in a similar car with similar money down, little or no, you know, similar monthly payment, little or no money down. Would you, you know, can we earn your business today? I said, all right. So I just started calling and I sold 13 cars that month, just calling off that list. I mean, it was just, it was a grind, but at that point in time, I'm like, man, I got to figure this out a little bit better than standing around the front waiting for somebody to pull in the lot. So 
within a year, I was, you know, managing the BDC and stuff like that. But it was, that was probably my favorite story in automotive. It really kicked off my career. Yeah, it sounds like it. It's one of those moments when you really realize that you're, you're in the right industry for you. That's awesome. Um, well, thank you so much for being with us today, Matt Raymond. And uh, we're excited to see what Bowtie Solutions can bring to dealers uh, within the Dominion DMS family and beyond. And we wish you all the best of luck and continued partnership. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.